if somebody gets you footsie pajamas or clothes and they have buttons on you, I'm questioning if you like me or not. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, if you're new here, my name is Angela Nicole, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for subscribing to my YouTube channel and tuning in. Today, we're going to be talking about my newborn essentials. If you didn't see last week, I did post a video on my hospital bag essentials, so go ahead and check that out. I'll make sure to leave it in the description box below, and this week, we'll go ahead and get into the newborn essentials. So the first thing I did want to say is every baby is different. So what works for my baby may not work for yours. What worked for my first son, I have a one and a half year old and then a four week old. Um, so some things that worked with my one and a half year old did not work with my four week old. So we just had to change things up and figure things out that worked for him. So do what's best for you and your baby as well. But hopefully you can find a, a couple of good recommendations and tips just to make sure that you do have them on your registry. The registry we used was um, baby list this time just because it's all in one place baby stuff is expensive so put everything that you need on there even if you think people aren't going to buy it just go ahead and put it on there because baby stuff is expensive and if you can get someone else to gift it for you definitely a blessing for sure so let's go ahead and get into it um i do have a list of like everything that i was going to talk about so if I'm looking down to the side, just double checking that I did hit all of my points on the list. <laughs> so first we're gonna go ahead and get um, started with the diapering and bathroom items. Um, just a tip that I did have is I did create like this little bin and basically I just have all of the diaper stuff for both my kids in there. So that in um, case that I'm in the living room, just go ahead and grab it, grab everything that I need already in this basket. I have a couple around the house, so you don't have to go around chasing um, different items that you need. So the first item that is an essential is diapers. So we this is the Pampers brand. Um, this is just what works best for our kids. So we do prefer the Pampers brand. Um, these have are definitely an essential. You're going to be changing lots of these. Next are wipes. So the couple of brands that we use, Water Wipes, the Kirkland brand, and the Pampers brand. Those are just ones that we were gifted most of and we've stuck with. So those are definitely essentials. Next is lotion. So if you watched my first video, you guys did notice that I um, put coconut oil on my kids, both of them. Coconut oil for lotion is really good. My second son does have a little bit more dry skin than my first, so we have started using this Aquaphor Baby. It's the healing oil, uh, healing ointment advanced therapy, and we have it in the travel size as well, so you can throw it in your diaper bag. This works really well. It's really thick. Your baby will be greased up, but they'll be very moisturized. So we have that for the lotion. We also have... Vaseline, so you'll want like a diaper cream or um, ointment. We use the Vaseline just because on their circumcision, if you have a boy or um, just keep creating that barrier between the baby and the diaper is very important so you don't have to deal with diaper rash. If you do deal with diaper rash, I would recommend Desitin because that does help out a lot and gets it out quickly. The other thing is we do have a bunch of portable diaper mats. I would recommend a portable diaper mat just because you're able to pull it out anywhere, put it in your diaper bag, pull it out and put it on the couch and change your baby or on the bed. It doesn't matter. We have a couple of these around the house as well. Definitely recommend the portable one because you can't really carry around. You don't want to go around to your nursery every single time and change the baby if you have a blowout especially. Next we have the American Red Cross first aid kit so we have this and I recommend this one just because it has a brush comb nail clipper little tongue scraper and a thermometer and a bunch of other things in there that you'll definitely need um, while the baby is a newborn I don't feel like you need like a special brush or anything like that unless your baby does have cradle cap um, there is a, a brush I think it's by nose Frida I mean sorry I think it's by Frida baby 
that you can use and get that cradle cap out. But other than that, I think you can just use the things that are in here. And if you need a thermometer on hand, you definitely have one just because sometimes you worry and you feel like your baby is just like so hot. Just get the thermometer out. Next, we do have the, I recommend the Nose Frida. Our baby was currently sick. Um, I think when he was like three weeks old, he got a little cold and we use this a lot. It gets all the boogers out and it has a little filter on it um, so it doesn't get into your mouth. And I recommend this one a lot. As far as bath items go, um, you don't really need too much. I recommend a bathtub. So we use this one. It's the Angel Care bathtub. Um, it's really good, sturdy. It You don't have to worry about like water being trapped in. It's um, easy to clean and everything. And then I we used the Avino Baby Calming Comfort Bath. And this was the lavender one. So you'll definitely want a body wash for him. And then we also do, my first son, he suffered with a cradle cap. So we used this Mustela cradle cap wash. And this worked wonders. It cleared it up quickly. And then we were able to grow his hair back because he literally lost all this hair right in the middle. So hopefully we don't have to deal with that with my second son. Um, but if we do, we have this catcher early and hopefully we don't have to deal with that. Um, and then lastly, for bath stuff, we do have a washcloth and towels are important. Um, I wouldn't recommend using your regular washcloths. You can probably get away with using your regular bath towels, but I would recommend using the baby washcloths just because they're a lot softer and um, less abrasive on their skin. Last item for the um, bathroom and diaper changing is definitely a diaper genie or diaper pail of some sort. We use the diaper genie and it's worked really well for us. Um, we haven't had any problems with it. I would say that sometimes the armor hammer like smell thing stops working or like you just have to keep replacing. If you put a car air freshener in the top of it, it takes the smell away. You don't have to worry about any of that. And when you open it and close it, you don't have to worry about the smell. So I would, that's a good tip to take. And um, I recommend the Diaper Genie. Okay, moving on to breastfeeding items or bottles and things like that. Um, first, I do recommend having a pump. Um, so I have the Spectra, I believe it's the Spectra S2. I got it through my insurance for free. So definitely make sure that you check with your insurance if you can get a pump. These things are pretty expensive. Go ahead and um, reach out to your insurance. I really like this one. It easy to clean. All you have to clean are the pieces um, that hold the milk and that are touching your boobs, of course. So I recommend this Spectra S2. I also recommend this Haka. So the Haka is basically a pump like a manual pump kind of thing and you put it on the other side um of your boobs that are not being used by your baby when they're breastfeeding so it let catches all your let down um a tip that i do recommend is if it's like this go ahead and fold the top back um squeeze the middle section place it onto your boob let this top section go and then let this bottom section go and you'll have a really good section. It won't fall off if you move or anything like that. Um, and it gives you the best um, suction possible. And then speaking of catching letdown, you don't want to get all your shirts dirty, things like that. I've had that problem lots of times when I'm out um, before I knew about these. So putting nipple pads in, I recommend the Lansino brand. Um, these just hold a lot more and, um, I just prefer these ones. So it looks like this. And these are the two stickers that go against your bra. And, um, yeah, these work really well. I do recommend you do have, um, nipple pads of some sort. And with all that pumping and breastfeeding, you definitely want to have some sort of cream or relief on your breasts so um this is the bamboobies nipple balm 
I recommend this one. Um, the Earth Mama one is really good as well. And then I just use plain old coconut oil, whichever one I can grab first. And then I'm near, I go ahead and use that. And when you're done pumping, um, these storage bags I recommend. Um, it's the Lansano breast milk storage bags. These are really good. Um, you can place them in the freezer after you put them in there. You label them with the date, um, how much is in there and zip it up and it's easy and good to go. And then the bottles that we use. Um, so my baby is exclusively breastfed, but we are transitioning to give him bottles sometimes. So um, the bottles that we do use are the Avent bottles and it's these glass bottles. Um, and then also the Dr. Brown's bottles. So those are the two brands that we like. Um, and my older son uses both brands as well. Um, so they work out really well. And lastly, I like supplements. Um, so for myself with breastfeeding, you want to make sure that you still take your prenatals. So I take the rainbow light prenatals. Um, these ones just, I took throughout my whole pregnancy and they worked really well for me. Never had any problems or side effects or nausea or anything like that. So those were great. And then for our baby, we give him these baby probiotic drops every day. And we also give him the um, vitamin D drops every day. So make sure that you do check with your pediatrician first before you start giving your baby all these supplements. But the two that we do give our baby are um, the probiotic and the vitamin D, and they're both by Mommy's Bliss. We really like this brand, haven't seen any side effects or bad things happening, so these are really great. Lastly, um, when you are giving your baby a bottle and stuff like that, you have to worry about the cleaning and all of that. So a couple of items I do recommend are a bottle brush cleaner, um, one that is separate from your dishwashing um, cleaners and sponges and stuff just because you want to keep it as sterile as possible and you don't want to get any extra dirt into your baby's bottles um, and also a bottle drying rack or a um, body bo uh, bottle sterilizer um, the baby brezza is a great one and as far as the bottle racks we had the grass the grass green one that one's a little bit hard to clean so now we're trying out the um xo oxo tot i think it's called um so i'll go ahead and let you guys know how that works out but it looks like it takes up a lot less space and um it might be a little bit easier to clean than the grass looking one um, i'm sure that you guys have seen okay third i do um item that i think are necessary are like furniture and nursery items so the first thing is a bassinet or a crib. We chose to go with the bassinet just because we have like a little station next to our bed with everything that we need as well as the bassinet. We have the Graco Soothe & Smooth bassinet and that one has worked really nicely. It moves, it makes noise, and it's a great price point, I feel like. We did, we're gifted that, um, but I feel like it is one of the more affordable um, brands. Also, um, I feel like a swing is um, definitely an essential. The one that we use is the Four Moms Mama Roo swing. That one works really well and um, it is a bit expensive, but we luckily were gifted that one as well. Um, and our baby, both babies really liked it a lot and were able to get a lot of use out of it. If you don't have either one of those, or at least don't have the swing, you definitely want to put your baby down somewhere where you feel safe. and one of the th items that we use is the snuggle me organic so this one has worked really well for us we're able to place it and bring it around the kitchen the bathroom the bed anywhere and you're able to just place it down the baby feels like they're nice and snug in it and they're able to still stay asleep the other one that we liked is the boppy um that one works really well we use both for both of our kids so um that's been really helpful and then the last three items for furniture and nursery items is definitely a hatch so this is the hatch light and this does make noise and it lights up and stuff 
we use mostly the light on it just because for those nighttime changes you don't want to wake everybody up in the house and because everybody does sleep in their bed still <laughs> um so we go ahead and turn this light on and you can have different colors and you're able to just do the change cut it back off and you're good to go um also this is really good because you're able to um control it with your app as well on your phone which is really handy next up i do feel like a humidifier of some sort is an essential item sometimes your babies get stuffed up and you really can't give your newborn baby too much medicine or medicine at all really um it's not recommended so a humidifier is really great because you can add some essential oils in there and get their noses um unstopped so this is a brand that we use from target and we also use the Frida Baby one, which is really good as well. Um, it's filled up with water right now, so I didn't feel like bringing it in here, but I'll put a picture of it up on the screen as well. And for any items that I named and weren't able to show you guys, it's just because they're in a different spot. So I'll go ahead and just take a picture of it and place it on the screen so you know what to look for if you want to um, go and purchase it. And I'll also leave the links down below. So lastly, for items for the nursery, um, this is a uh what is this <laughs> this is a camera and the brand that we use is summer you're able to carry this around this is the camera uh this is the monitor part and i can watch whatever is going on in the room wherever we place the baby down if i need to go and um do some dishes in the kitchen during nap time or something like that i can just have this and i can hear everything that's going on as well as see this has been really helpful um so that i can go ahead and get things done while the baby is sleeping okay two more categories that we're going to talk about the first is going to be clothing items clothes definitely are important but i don't feel like you need too many especially at the newborn size um, try not to buy too many newborn sizes. I know it's hard and you're going to get so excited and want to buy everything, but I promise your baby only lasts in newborns for a short period of time. So yeah, let people um, buy it on your registry and then try not to buy too much of it and um, you shouldn't have a problem. What I do recommend you always have in plenty of sizes is the white onesies. We like the Gerber brand just because it is tagless. Um, it's very light and you're able to layer other clothes on top of it. Um, and it's very, very soft. So I really recommend the Gerber brand white onesies. You always want to have them no matter how big your kid is getting. Next, I do recommend footsie pajamas. Um, this is just a random one that I picked up. But you do want to make sure that it is zippers zippers only please please if somebody gets you footsie pajamas or clothes and they have buttons on you i'm questioning if you like me or not because getting those back in um getting buttons back on after a diaper change or in the middle of the night who has time to keep buttoning those up i don't i don't and the ones with the zippers that go that you can open from the bottom to the top um, so that you don't have to get the baby fully undressed to change a diaper those are really good as well and next i do recommend um swaddles of some sort i don't have a favorite brand or anything like that um but we've used a couple different ones the love sack ones where the hands are up our baby liked that one um the swaddle me one and I don't know the brand of this one, but this is just another swaddle. What I do recommend, all of these swaddles are ones that either zip or have Velcro on them. That's so important because, so my fiance, he is a swaddle champ. He can do all the swaddling and he's quick and efficient and gets it done. The baby stays in it. Me, on the other hand, I'm not swaddling the baby in a blanket and folding it 12 different ways. I can't. I suck at it. I didn't get that part down. <laughs> That's not a skill that I was able to master. So the Velcro is definitely a lifesaver for me and the baby too, because he's not going to get upset at me for messing up his swaddle and his nap time. Next up, I do recommend blankets of some sort. Um, definitely you want to get some thick, soft ones, but also you want to get like some thin ones um, based on wherever you live. It might be too hot to put a thick blanket on them or also when people are coming over and 
they want to hold the baby, you're able to just put this in between them and the baby and their outside clothes aren't touching all over the baby's face and skin because their skin is sensitive. Um, and you just don't want that dirt. You don't know where they've been, especially during times like now. So just little thin um, blankets. This one's the one from the hospital. Make sure that you do have those. And the last clothing item that I do recommend is Dreft detergent. We use Dreft um, newborn for our newest son, and then we use Dreft active for our older son. Um, we also use the Dreft stain remover for the blowouts. If your baby is having blowouts, definitely want to get those stains out and don't want to have those dirty clothes stinking up the house. So make sure that you do spray them down, throw them in the wash, and those stains will be right out. And the last category that we're going to cover is travel items um, that I do recommend and do feel are essential. Your baby is not going to many places, so you don't need too much stuff um, for them, but you may have to go to doctor's appointments or just go on walks. Um, so the couple of items that I do recommend are definitely a car seat. You're not going to be able to leave the hospital without having a car seat for the baby. Um, the one that we use is the Graco, I think it's called the Snug Ride Snug Lock 35. And that one's really great. We were able to use that one for both of our kids actually. Um, and then we also have the Graco stroller that matches that same um, car seat. And you're able to just click the car seat straight from the car into the stroller. And I feel like that's really important because you don't want to have too many pieces, especially if you're out alone or just trying to rush and get in, in and out of the car. You just want something that you can just pop open, put the baby in and go on and run your errands. Um, the other cool thing about the stroller that we have is that you're able to open it and close it with one hand. You just slide the button and it opens and closes right back up, um, which is definitely important. And we have saved lots of struggles with that car seat and stroller combo. Um, another important piece for travel is definitely a mirror. We got the mirror um, just from Target and I'll link the exact one below, but um, you're a newborn, new, newborn parent. So if you are driving somewhere, most of the time you are gonna be nervous as, is, at least for me, I'm always like, is the baby breathing? Is the baby moving? Is the baby okay? Is it too tight? Um, my fiance probably is annoyed by me, but he checks every time still, so that's nice. Um, but ease, ease all of that with just going ahead and getting a mirror that can go on the headrest so that you can still see the baby and not have to worry too much about if they are doing okay. And um, lastly, a baby carrier a baby carrier that we have is this ergo baby carrier i know it looks chunky um but it's able to carry the baby for a long time um we haven't had any problems with it we were able to carry both of our kids with this one and it has lots of support for their head neck and bodies and everything and it's lots of cushion on the pads um for your shoulders so that when the baby does get heavier and heavier you are not in pain and having that um, shoulder and back pain that some carriers do cause. Um, so I definitely recommend a carrier because even if you're just in the house, sometimes the baby is not going to want to be put down, but you still have to get things done in the house. So go ahead and get a baby carrier or a baby wrap and you'll be able to just baby wear throughout the house and get things done. Um, so I definitely do recommend a baby carrier of some sort. So that's everything for today's videos on what I think are definitely some newborn essentials. If you had anything that you think that I miss or things that you recommend, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below and make sure that you do subscribe, like, and comment down below. Turn on those post notifications so that if um, whenever I do post a new video, you'll be um, alerted and it'll show up on your feed. I will be posting every Monday and Thursday from here on out. So go ahead and give this a thumbs up and check out my next content on Thursday. Thank you. Have a great one.